think it's 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 being focused and you know yeah it's for fun at first but what am I gonna do with this and you know you definitely have to have like a plan you have to be consistent if you're gonna make calls you know he would make calls to different nurseries and he would you know go out there and do what he had to do to get the product exposed because if you know if it's for fun and you're not exposing it, then that's all it's going to ever be is for fun, and you're going to have to go do something else that is actually going to pay your bills. So I think it's you know having you know, and I think that just comes natural to some people, and you know some people they have to you know learn it is just having that vision and and going towards that vision and 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 know you knowing that there's a bigger picture out there. I started mine hoping and praying that it'll eventually lead into like a full-time job and um, at very, very first it was, it was just fun but I still had that dream, wasn't sure if that would ever actually happen um, and it's, I mean I've had it for a little, my Etsy shop for a little, well almost two years and it's slowly evolving and getting bigger and bigger and making more and more money. Um, so I'm slowly getting there. It's still fun. It's not just for fun now. I love it. I mean, well, I've always loved it. It's my passion. Like I said, it's what I want to do. Um, so it's, it's slowly getting there. You always have to stay at it. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Uh, for me, it's a part-time business. I don't really... Um, and the, the main reason being it's, it's um, one of a kind handmade product that takes time to make um, and I like it to stay that way that that has been my thing about it but you always have to stay at it you can't just say oh I'll do it when I want to you have to you have to treat it like a, like a like a business you know like a job like if you were clocking in and clocking out because um, if you just take it as like oh yeah I'll get to that tomorrow or I'll you know what just have a, a lax um, type of attitude towards it, then that's you know what you're going to get in return. What you put out is what you get back. So right, and you have real life customers. So you, if you're just like, oh, like I'll do it over the weekend or something, there's actually people on the other end waiting for your product to come in the mail. And also on Etsy, they can leave reviews. Every every buyer can leave a review. So you potentially could have somebody saying. They didn't seem like they were taking this seriously. I didn't get my product for like a month because they just didn't value their shop or whatever it is. So you have to know, I mean, I always say put myself in the other person's shoes. Whenever I order stuff online, which I do way too much, I'm always so excited to get that product. So I know other people are too. So I always make a commitment, this is my job. This is what I know that um, I need to get my stuff out there. And I think that as we started getting out there, we really found um, people were drawn to it. Um, it was something that wasn't really tapped into, and people were just in awe of the things that you can make with, with barrels, and as well as what we were. So it was a learning experience, and we've grown. We went from just making planters to pretty much making light fixtures and bars and 